In this video, I am going to show you how to extract the data from the Toastmasters dashboards and analyze it using Excel pivot tables. Let's get started. The Toastmaster website provides performance reports that are accessible to anybody. You don't have to be a member to access this distinguished performance reports. You can see the status of the entire organization by region and by district. You can even download the entire data to your computer using the export function. Today I'm going to focus on district level analysis. So let me choose one district, let's say District 20. In this report, I can see the entire district performance, division and area performance, and even club performance. When I click on the club performance, I can scroll through all the clubs in the district. But more importantly, I can download the entire data as a CSV file. This file can be easily opened in Excel, and that's what I'm going to do now. So let me click on Show in Folder. And the file that I have just downloaded is here. Double click on it and you have it in Excel. The first thing we should do is to save this file as an Excel file because currently the file is in CSV format, which is not suitable for storing analytical data. So I will say save as and choose from this list Excel and click save. One final thing we should do is to go to the bottom of the table and we have this extra line which I should remove. So let me select this row and right click on it and say delete. Now we are ready to start our analysis. Let me go back to the top and click anywhere in this table and select insert and choose the first option which is the pivot table. Excel automatically recognizes my data for analysis and it gives me two options. One is to either create the pivot table in a new worksheet or to create the pivot table in the same worksheet. Let me choose the new worksheet because it's easier to visualize our analysis in a new worksheet. So let me click OK. So here we have a pivot table and it's made up of three sections. The first section is the pivot fields. The second section is the selection. What do we want from this fields? And finally on the left hand side is the results. Let me zoom so that we can see it better. Let me click on view, zoom, and let's make it 200%. Let's start with a very simple example. I want to analyze division data. So on my fields, I will select the division field and then I will drag it and drop it into the rows section. So we can see we have division A to H. Now let's look at something that we can analyze. Let's look at the active members and I will take this field active members and I will drag it into the values section to my right here and see how Excel has automatically recognized that we want to sum up all the active members in the division and I have a neat little analysis per division. If I want to sort this list based on the highest number of members in the division, simply right click anywhere in the pivot table and then say sort from largest to smallest. And we can see now that the division D has the highest number of active members while G has the lowest number. What if I want to convert this into a nice graph? Again, I can select up to here and say insert. And we have various types of graphs that we can choose from. Let's say I want to insert a pie chart. And I can just select the pie chart and I'm done. My analysis of division is ready. If I want to change this chart into a different type of chart, I can simply right click and say change chart type. And for example, let's go for columns. 
and select OK. Now I can analyze the performance of all the divisions in terms of the highest to the lowest. If I want to compare the active members to the base, that is the number of members at the beginning of the year, I have this field called member base. If I select that and drop it into the value section, the results are automatically updated to show the active members against the base. And the graph is also automatically updated with the data from my pivot table. Let's try something different. Let me remove this graph and remove all the columns that I have selected. And I can do that by removing the tick mark from the fields that have been selected. And I have a blank pivot table now. Let's do some club analysis. So here I have a field called club name. I'll drop that into the rows section. And Excel will bring all the names of the clubs. I want to see which clubs have achieved the DCP goals. So I have a field here called goals mat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this in the values section and I can see the clubs and the goals each club has met. But what if I want to see only those clubs which have become president distinguished? This is where filters comes into play. What I'm going to do is again, I'll take the same field goals met and I will drop it into the filter section. And in my result set, I have now a new field called goals mat. And if I click on the arrow, Excel allows me to choose from the list. If I want to choose multiple values, I can click on this checkbox and Let's say I only want those clubs that have achieved 9 or 10 goals, which is President Distinguish. So let me remove this checkbox for all and scroll down and choose 9 and 10 and click OK. So now I have here a list of clubs that have achieved President Distinguish. Pivot Tables allows you to create all kinds of analysis as long as you have the data to perform the analysis. There are some reports on this dashboard that do not have the export function. One of them is the educational awards. So if I click on educational awards for the current year, I get this big list with the names of the members who have achieved different educational awards during the year. But there is no function to export this report to Excel. But we can still do it. And the way I do that is I start by selecting from this first row and I make sure that I select up to the last row. Then simply press Ctrl C to copy all this information. Next, let me open Excel and press Ctrl V. All the data of the Education Awards is now in Excel. And like before, we can simply start analyzing this data using pivot tables. Let's start. Insert pivot tables. Let's go and put it in a new worksheet. What can we analyze? Let's say I want to know which members have achieved the maximum number of awards. I will select the member name and I'll drop it in the rows. Next, let me choose the award and drop it into the values. If I want to arrange this list with the highest to the lowest, again, right click here and say sort from largest to smallest. And I have a list of people who have achieved the highest number of awards in a year. Instead of members, let's say I want to analyze it by area. So let me remove the member from the selection and replace it with area. So now I can see awards by area. If I want it by division, again, remove area and replace it with division. So there you have it. The pivot tables in Excel. They are very powerful. Play around with it. And I'm sure you can get amazing insight into the data.